guys, I want to share something with you guys that a lot of people wonder about, a lot of people uh, give it a lot of thought, and that is, do you actually have to be the lowest price on something to get a sale on eBay? What do you guys think about that? Do you think it's possible to actually sell something, a quality item, and not be the absolute lowest? In fact, is it even possible to be the absolute lowest on something with so many eBay sellers and still turn a profit? What are you guys thinking about that? Well, let me share my thoughts on that. Um, there are a lot of sellers on eBay. And last I heard, there was something like 10, 20 million sellers on eBay. Now, that's a lot of people. And a lot of people do it full time. Now, a lot of people are selling the same items, the same type of items, and so forth. So how is it possible that we can sell an item and not absolutely be the lowest possible? Let me give you an example. There are a lot of stores out there that people buy from. Uh, you have Kmart. You have Pennies, you have Dillard's, you have Belk, you have Macy's, and it goes up and it goes up and it goes up. All the way up to, say, something in uh, California, Rodeo Drive, something like that. These boutiques and everything. Now, does everything have to be the cheapest in order for these people to make a sale? For example, the people who shop on Rodeo Drive. They're, they're not going to Kmart to buy. They know that they're going to pay a premium price for the items that they buy. But guess what, guys? They want a quality product. They want it at what they consider to be a fair price, and they want it now. So is it anything wrong with appealing to that type of customer? Or do we always have to appeal to the bottom of the barrel customer? Well, I'm going to tell you my approach on it. And I, I have kind of learned this, and I'm learning this. I'm in the process of learning this. I've been experimenting with it a little bit. And what I have found is it's possible to price something at a much higher price than what everybody else is, and people will buy the item. I kid you not. It's something about the psychology of people. I, I still can't figure it out, but what I figured out is this. Let's say you had an item and it was the absolute lowest. Now, you may make a sale, but you may not make a lot of profit off of it. But let's say you, you had the same item or a similar item. You took better pictures. You gave a better description or at least used better keywords to pull in different viewers who would see your items. Do you think you can get more money for that item? Well, I absolutely think you could, without a doubt. Let me give you an example of that, guys. Let's say you were selling a shirt. Okay, this is a, a just a regular long sleeve shirt. Now, if I was on selling this online and I just put in there, Georgia Tech shirt, long sleeve, mint. Okay. Now, that would appeal to a certain number of people, and I would probably get some looks on that. People who were googling for Georgia Tech, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But if I use, if I put all that in there and use some additional keywords that would pull in some additional viewers, perhaps I can even get a higher price for the item than I could if I just bare bones it. You understand what I'm saying? So, in answer to that question, it is possible to list things at a higher price. And as you sell on eBay, you're going to find that if you're going to continue selling on eBay, you can't be the lowest price on everything. In fact, you don't want to be the lowest price on everything. 